Hello my friends and welcome to the installation video for Sky Factory 3, a mod pack by Bacon Donut. Yes, today we are going to install Sky Factory 3. And we're not going to do it just one way. We're going to do it two separate ways. Yeah, why? Why I don't know. Um, but there are two ways, so I thought, you know, what the heck. Maybe if you have problems with installing one way, you'll try it the other way. And da-da, we'll all be playing Sky Factory 3 together. All right, let's get started. First thing we're going to do, we are going to go to this. Uh, I'm, I'm doing this on Internet Explorer because most of us use Internet Explorer. And most of us understand how it works. Um, here is the main one right here. The curse, the little download now in the red. That is the curse version. Yes, we are not cursed as we're going to be cursed for life and die or something. No, it's just called cursed. It's the, 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 the launcher they use. And then after that, we're going to do what they call a legacy Windows version. The old-fashioned feed the beast launcher so if this one works we're going to do it first the cursed one if it works for you don't even worry about going to the next one if it doesn't work go to the uh to the last one all right while we got a break here before we get going please 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 give this a like give it a thumbs up please give me some love um we need to make sure this gets out there if i don't have your help it doesn't go anywhere and it's just it, i need the love so please take a moment right now and go ahead and click the the, the like button if you like, I might be doing future episodes. Go ahead and hit the subscribe. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and hit download now. And we're just going to go ahead and save it in the location that it normally saves in. Um, it's in the download uh, folder in Windows uh, 10. Yes. So it'll be in that download folder. We really don't need it. It'll be there. So it's a good place for it to be. All right. It is now downloaded. Let's go through the security check. And then we'll go ahead and start running it. All right, I'm going to hit run. And we should get another screen here. We're going to hit install. And I think we have one more install to go after this. I'm not sure. But while I have a moment, let's go ahead and talk about one other thing. Um, I am going to run mine on cubehosting.com. I'm going to use a server. If you have some friends you want to play with and you need an affordable server, try cubehost.com. Link is down below. Please use it also because it also gives me credit if you use the link down below. Just don't go to cubehost.com. Um, use the link below and I will get reference for it and I will actually maybe you know, get a month free or so. Um, it helps. Everything helps. So, But this is a great web server. It only costs about $10, $12 a month. Um, you can get a half dozen of your friends in there. You can click launch real quick. Um, you can get a half dozen of your friends on there and it's, it's steady. Now if you don't want to play this mod pack, they host and they can do any mod pack you really want. I've seen them all in there. So if, you, if it's not in there, just ask them and they will get it for you. And they'll get it within... 10 15 minutes they are incredibly fast incredibly good support so cubehost.com links down below please try them all right so this is actually the loader let's go ahead and go back to the feed the beast screen and run it back up now you can see a little bit better because it's all white um this curse you have to have an account with curse so if you don't have one with curse yet go ahead and just create the account right here i already have one so i'm gonna go ahead and put mine in All right. Once this gets launched, this is this isn't really the um, feed the, the Minecraft thing. Curse is more of like a, a a program that can handles a lot of stuff. Um, it has communication. You can have your friends here. You can talk to them. You can chat with them. You can use headphones with them. There's all kinds of neat things Curse can do. I haven't even tried half of it, but it's really really cool. Um, right here at the bottom, you see a little creeper face that says Minecraft. Click on it. Little left click, and then you're gonna see this Let's Play Minecraft. Uh, Curse is not automatically ready to run or installed Minecraft yet, so we have to install it just this one time. The first time, after you click that install, you will never see that screen again. You'll see this one, and down here where it says no pro profiles currently installed, you'll see uh, mod packs that you have installed down here. Now this is a really cool thing, a little side note, um, you can look at all the mod packs. This is not just the Feed the Beast ones, this is also all the ones that are you know outside of Feed the Beast that people have put in here. Um, Agrarian Skies is not a Feed the Beast, but it is in here. So this is a, a good launcher for a lot of these things. Um, just to go back, you can actually create your own mod pack. You just create a name, tell them what version of Minecraft you want, what forward loader, and then it, you just add the mod packs. You don't have to download the mod packs. It already has the mod packs in here, so it's really cool. You can take vanilla Minecraft, add like... Um, 
applied energetics in it or whatever mod pack you like and just play it with that one mod pack you like it's really cool but we are going to browse the feed the beast mod packs and these are all the ones that are officially owned by feed the beast we're going to install this one here we could click install here or we can just click right here and it goes to the feed the beast i mean to the sky factory three page and you can see the change log the versions everything that's gone on with it and anything that's changed with it now right here we're going to go ahead and hit install and while this thing installs we can go back let's just go back to the home page and then if we want to, this is the page you'll come into. So whenever you come into it, you just click on the Minecraft page. And whatever is installed will be here. So you're seeing it's already being installed. All right, now, as soon as this thing gets installed, this is going to take a few minutes. Um, let me go ahead and talk about one other thing. When I do these installation videos, it seems like I always get two questions, um, always. One is, do I have to have Minecraft? Well, yes, you have to have Minecraft. This is not a crack to play without Minecraft. You have to have a subscription to Minecraft to allow you to play it on your PC. Um, all of this is is a mod pack that, you know, it's like steroids for the um, Minecraft. It adds all this cool stuff. All these mods go into what you originally paid for and just, it's like, you know, the, it makes Minecraft on steroids. It's just, it's really cool. So, no, you, I mean, yes, you have to have Minecraft. This is not a crack. So, Bam, that's done. Second thing I get is a lot of people say, well, I'm having problems installing. I'm sorry, I'm not an expert. It runs, it works for me. I'm showing you how it worked for me. Now, if you have any questions or any problems, what you want to do is you can go back to this home page, and I'll have the link down below to Feed the Beast, and there's a Forms right here. Just go ahead and click Forms, and then at the bottom of the, this section here, actually do right here, click in this area in the top right, and just type in, you know, whatever area you're having, and do a search. Please don't look, don't add a comment or a question until you do a search. Do a search, and then look for the answer. Nine times out of ten, it's maybe even better than that, it will be there, because someone's already had that problem. And most likely, it's going to be in technical support. Now, if you do have a problem, make sure you put the question in the right form place. All you have to do is create a, a sign-on, make the question, and it'll show up. There are tons of things in here. Um, Sky Factor 3 crashes while playing. Go ahead and read these things, and you'll figure out what's going on. It's like, for example, if you do a crafting uh, table on a stick, it crashes. I don't know why. They're working on that. So it, it will be in here. I'm just installing problems, it'll be in here. So before you ask me, which I'm not the greatest person to ask, because I've only had a half dozen reasons to um, n that I had to go around it. And let's go ahead and play while we talk. I've only had a half dozen reasons that it hasn't worked for me. So there's there, most likely the reason you're having is not the mine. Go here, and instead of going to the comments below, and check out technical support and feed the beast mod pack. All right, so we have it all installed, ready to go and hit play. Now it's going to go ahead and pull up the next screen. The next screen is going to be the Minecraft screen that you normally see when you play Minecraft. It has the Minecraft uh, username or email address plus the password. Now, uh, here, we're seeing it now. Once you sign in this, it goes right to... I'm not going to do it now because it takes a few minutes for every, all the mod packs to run in this thing. Um, if Once it gets going, you are ready to play. Uh, Sky Factory 3. This is it. There's no more installing, nothing else. It's, it's launching it from here, and you're all set, ready to go. All right, now this is the way you run it for Curse. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the old-fashioned way. Let's go ahead and close this. I'm going to go ahead and close it out all together. Exit Curse, because I don't want to take any memory. And we're going to go back to the main page. Let's go back. One more. And we are going to do the Legacy, legacy, sorry, legacy Windows way of installing. Now, I'm not going to save it. I'm going to save as, because I want this saved on my desktop. So I'm going to click desktop, and I'm going to hit save. Now, I could go ahead and run it from my desktop, but I want to show you where it is real quick. It's just going to be right here on my desktop. Just double-click on it, and you're ready to go. That's all there is to launching it. Let's just show up in just a second. And let's go back. Where'd it go? There it is. And now, the, inst the folder, I want to keep a folder on my desktop. This holds all my worlds and all the information. I don't want to hide it all the way down here and see whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and click this, and I'm going to hit the home page. That puts it on my desktop, and I'm going to go ahead and type backslash, where is it? Or forward slash, forward slash, and just go feed, oh uh, no, um, um, Sky Factory, right? Sky, no, Feed the Beast, Feed the Beast. And then we'll go ahead and open it, and you'll see it'll put a folder in here somewhere. So I'm going to hit apply, yep, here's the folder. So now all my files and everything will be sitting right in there. 
So if we need to uh, look for like my worlds to save or backup or anything like that, that's where it is. All right, we are now on the actual um, Feed the Beast original uh, way of launching these pro programs. You got options here. One thing I want to make sure, don't use two. You need more than two. I'm going to go ahead and put mine up to four, five, five, four. Let's yes, go back to five. And then also the console here, that's this little window here. Make sure that's checked if it's not, because you always want it to see if things are running. You'll see it in this window going right over here. All right, so next I need to select a profile. I already have mine put in there. If you don't have it in there, just go ahead and type in your profile and, and add it. This is not, this profile is your Minecraft profile. Um, your username or your pa email and your password. It's not like the curse one that we used just a minute ago. This one is the one for Minecraft. So you don't have to sign into Minecraft once you do this. So we're going to go ahead and launch here while it goes. Oh, I have to go actually to the mod pack that I want to launch, don't I? All right, here's the mod pack we want to launch. So we're going to hit launch right here. Now it's going to go. Now it's going to take a little while to download everything and get it going. Once it gets going, I will come back to, uh, there's one next screen that comes up. And I'll come back to you as soon as it gets all running and we'll talk a little bit more. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I apologize. We are on the, now the installation. Uh, installation's all done. We've done all the download. Now it's actually starting to run the mod pack. This takes about 10 minutes. I'm not going to make you sit all the way through this. Um, but just want you to see, this is the next screen. And as long as you got these two screens running, you see the stuff scrolling through here or you see this stuff moving here, you know you're going. Be patient. It takes a few minutes, especially the first time. Next time goes a little bit faster, but not much faster. There's a lot of mod packs in this that it takes to get it really running. So as soon as we get this thing going, I'll be right back. Um, be patient, and we'll see you in a second. Okay, it took about 10 minutes for that to come. It took about 2 or 3 minutes to download. It took about 7 minutes for this thing to actually get updated and run. Um, we're now on Sky Factor 3. I apologize, my screen resolution is not pulled all the way out. It's kind of a, a crop-down version of the normal version. Um, if you want to play, all you have to do is hit single player, create new world, and just create new world. I don't know if you can see that. It might be out of your reach. And that's all there is to playing Sky Factory 3. Um, it's not too hard, and it's easy to do. Again, if you have any questions, please um, make sure you take technical support and feedthebeast.com. If you need a web server, um, try Cube Hosting. Check the link down below. And then finally, please, please, please give me that like if it works for you. It helps. I need it. Every, th every like I can get is just, well, oh, it helps so much. Again, thanks for watching, my friends, and have a great day. Let's play some Sky Factory! Bam. Have fun, guys.